Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play slash playthrough of Paper Mario. Uh, I've always said that. Ever since Paper Mario, Super Mario 64, Mario Party, I've always said Paper Mario. Mario Party. Settings. Hmm. I'll keep it normal. Uh, we are on the last five turns of this. Uh, I'm doing good. I, I guess I'm doing good. I'm not doing the best, but I am going I do have a chance of winning. Definitely. It's not even a small chance, it's a moderate chance. See, if you land in the same space as your opponent, you can duel them. That's the other way you can duel. I was just about to explain that anyway, so... The perfect timing. But watch. He's gonna duel for like 6 points. Or 45! God! So this is... Each board has their own duel winning game, just like the item games. Sorry. Thanks for the coin, buddy! You made it! I didn't get any pirate talk this episode. Oh no! The computers seem more sore losers than winners, which is a bad thing. I'm more of a sore loser as well. Which is kind of good. I wish I had this many coins when I was going to that star versus that goo. Tipsy Torny. Another turning minigame! Ah! Tipsy Turny is basically the same as the first one. Move the Koopa Shell over all the tiles. So this basically, um, I have a similar strategy in the last playthrough, but try to get I got stuck, that's stupid, I think. Try to get all the middle ones, because you'll basically, if you go for the middle ones, you'll probably get the, in, the outside ones while you're getting the, uh, the inside ones. But if you just go for the middle ones, probably if you go for the outside ones, you won't get the the inside ones very much. So basically, you try to kill two stones with. Did I really just say that? Two stones with one bird. Two birds with one stone instead of one bird with one stone, and then throw several stones at the second bird and miss a lot of times, and then eventually get them. But someone else would have hit that bird beforehand. What am I talking about? Okay, I'm not gonna be that lucky. I've done the bank this time. What do you want? Stop taking over my video! Sure, I have a lot of coins. I'm sure you can do the map from here. Okay, so where's the star? So, I'm gonna get a warp block. Something else. Sorry, it always takes so long on these, but I just wanna make sure. Um, it's a large chance of something uh, not so good is gonna happen. But I'm gonna try warp block and test my luck. Thank you! Oh, and also, in the last five turns, the more coins you get, you get more coins and lose more coins from regular spaces. So if you run out of blue space, you get six. If you run out of red space, you lose six instead of three. So back to E3, it's going on some time like that. Kid Icarus Uprising, that game actually looks pretty fun. It, looks, it doesn't look like a Kid Icarus game. It looks like... I don't know. It's just like, I, I've never played the game, but it kind of looks like human parts to me. I don't know why. It's the way he moves and, like, fires projectiles and stuff. It looks like human parts to me. Okay, Shy Guy says, the first three key mini game in the entire Let's Play, or Project, or thing, or whatever. And this is the one I did worst on, I think. I'm, I might not be thinking, which I'm never thinking. Okay, so, let's try to redeem myself. So, he's just doing some things. If he raises one flag, he will never trick you out if he raises one. Only if he raises two. Well, it's Wario and me if I did too slow, but I doubt it. That's also awesome Stonky Kong when in the first Shy Guy says when he's Bleh. That's returns, oh my god! I should have go to a good spot. 
Okay, let's test, uh, test out my luck and see if the work block helps me. Which these things are always good for me, so I got it. Hit! Yeah! Am I being stupid? Okay, good, the star's over here. For a second I thought it wasn't. I can- oh, don't take my star, he can't, what am I saying? Ooh, cool, but maximum you can duel is for 8 coins, you can't duel more than you have. It would be cool if like, you could duel items in Mario 49, or 10 if they make it. That'd be great. uh, characters, this looks awesome. Super Mario 3D looks awesome. You, you get the, like the leaps from Mario Party 3, or not Pit, Super Mario Brothers 3, which is an awesome game. I love that game. Or, it, not that much, but it's my favorite 2D Mario game. Definitely. Imagine if they, in the Japanese version, he was actually giving a finger. I wouldn't be surprised considering how the US is. How annoying it is with its stupid censorship. How uncensorific the Japanese are with like the vodka drunk drunk insky. Well, I, I guess I guess drinking is allowed in PG-13 and uh middle finger is not. So never mind, what am I saying? So yeah, Super Mario 3 that game looks awesome, especially since it's like get Mario Galaxy. And it kinda looks like Mario's it looks it reminds me more of Galaxy than Mario 64. But it looks more Mario 64 than Galaxy was, if that makes any sense, which it doesn't. I've talked about tube doesn't make any sense in Hot Rope Jump, that's weird. Another AP mini game. See, yeah, Super Mario 3D, that game looks freaking awesome. I'm definitely gonna get that. And the same ordering when it failed. <laughs> so happy. I haven't said that. Isn't it illegal for a dinosaur to have money? Stop referencing other people's Yoshi jokes! Whatever. Uh. Super Mario 3D, definitely gonna get that. Uh, now the fifth one, which is definitely my favorite, Luigi's Mansion 2. When I first thought, like, oh, Luigi's Mansion 2! <laughs> and it, it looks interesting. It doesn't look as good as the original, but it definitely looks awesome. It looks new. It looks like it's different, like, uh... Like, a lot of differences in it. And they look pretty interesting differences, and it's like multiple mansions, which is cool. And what the heck? What the heck? What's going on? Oh my god! Hacks! This is hacks. Uh, right here, this is hacks. What the heck? Okay, Wario's well, definitely getting that happening star. See, Luigi's Mansion 2 looks awesome. So the uh, the Wii U, that looks awesome as well. Uh, I'm definitely um, like the, how the touch screen works and oh, it looks most of it seems kind of uh, pointless. Like the like golf thing seems the stupidest to me. Like how it, you like lay the thing on the ground. That looks just stupid to me. But like the how you can play on the table or like you know use it. It's kind of it's kind of like a mix between a home console and a portable console. It's like a, Portable consoles were decided never to leave the house. Like, if no one ever brought them out of their house, that would be what that is, because, like, it's not meant to be taken anywhere. Battery life's probably not that good. Can you make a game Bob on Barrage, where you get jiggy with it? Looks silly. Just like Zant. 
So basically, you throw bob bombs at the guy who's floating in the water. It'd be cool if they, like, they did, like, a Mario Party 6 and something, like, in night- Like, this it's game is a Mario Party 6 and the nighttime one would be three players are on- Or, three play- The one player is throwing bombs at three players, and the three players are still on land and, uh, double kill! <laughs> that was awesome, got two bombs in. It's a mini game time. In nighttime, the the one player is throwing bombs at the three players who were on land. See, so yeah, what you um, not many games were announced. That's that's kind of my biggest problem. I can't say like, oh my god, this is gonna be so awesome because there weren't many games announced. There's like Super Mario Brothers Me, which is like Super Mario Brothers Wii. But, you know, a little, uh, little things added. I'm sorry, it's like, yeah, last turn you can't get any items because it wouldn't make any difference. Okay. Nothing stupid happened. The only thing that can screw me now is the, uh, the awards. But I'm pretty sure unless something really weird happens in this minigame, I can't lose. I know there was a new minigame, ain't that? Stop it! It's crazy. So it's basically the same, except now it's a two player three versus two versus two. Bleh. So you have to pump your uh, Bowser balloon full of uh, air. And it's pretty simple. Um, I don't think I'm as good as this one as I am the other one. But I'm still pretty good at this. It's pretty easy. So yeah, Wii U is awesome. Uh, the games where they were barely announced, Mario Party 9, that's awesome. Uh, Kirby Wii, that looks awesome. Uh, what were the other games? Uh, oh, Kirby Mass Attack, I guess. Rhythm Heaven DS, 3DS. Looks awesome, that's gonna be freaking insane. Paper Mario, can't forget about that. Yeah, and then Microsoft obviously restart the Halo series with 4, 5, and 6, but whatever. I'm talking about them. No Microsoft here! So yeah, bonus star, or bonus stars, but uh, the award is what she's doing. She looks disappointed, but she's like, oh, she looks like she's like, oh, yeah, I'm really good. But I'm just fine, I'm beating her. You can see how she's just cool like that. So yeah, I'm, am I, yeah, I'm in the lead for stars, and I'm in the lead for points. I got, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know, like, what has happened? Nothing. Nothing has happened. What the heck? I'm dreaming. How ridiculously lucky I've been getting at this game. Okay, it's still recording. I didn't lose that footage. And yeah, where are you going to have any star? That's basically what I expected from the one stars. I would get the coin. I would obviously get the coin. And minigame star. Uh, I'm assuming me. I was assuming me, but. Uh, the minigame star can be kind of unpredictable at times. I think they should announce the minigame star last because of how unpredictable it is. So it's like the more predictable thing is the exciting thing instead of the happening star, which is not predictable. So yeah, let's go stop Bowser. And apparently, uh, Koop is trying to steal the treasure. And Bowser is trying to steal it also, but Bowser blames the other guy. Me, matey? But no, my guy. Who's there? Why, it's the handsome. Just kidding. Yashi! He's so happy, and he's also legal, so you're gonna die! So yeah, basically the winner is the one who fights Bowser at the end. If you don't control this, that would, be kind of, that would actually be really awesome if like, you had to play a minigame, and if you failed the minigame, then like another player would have to step in with the second player. Ouch! <laughs> it's like, oh, you hit me. <laughs> So yeah, that, this one's kind of lame, just because of how easily Bowser goes down. But that's, uh, Pirate Land, and I was as lucky as possible. What the heck? The Warp Block, Wario getting sent away, um, the two hidden block stars. But technically, I could've won without those. You know what, if there, there's no hidden block stars, I would've gotten four, he would've gotten two, and Mario would've gotten zero. Let's see the detailed results. So, yeah. 
The game coins was three more than my actual amount. So I, I basically dominated the game coins. It was uh, doing okay, and so was Mario, but Mario kind of failed. The, uh, no, no, maximum coins. Uh, Mario was insane. Peach was not really bad. I thought Peach was... No, she wouldn't have been at first, because she spent all her coins on the, the stealing my star. So yeah. Mario landed on 3 and Mario landed on 1. Mario was dominating in that respect. The 4 battle games, that's actually pretty good. Sometimes you can just get a certain amount of uh, happening spaces. Or er, not happening spaces, battle games. And 5 item spaces. And I. What did I get? I got the golden mushroom. Oh, and the last one, which didn't do anything. So yeah. In the first Mario Party, uh, you. The coins went to your bank, just your coins, but now all the players' coins get added in. And your stars. And ironically, there's less to buy. There's, there's only mini games. So basically, there's le you get you spend less money and you get more, and then the other game, you get less and spend more, which is just ridiculous. I think they sort of gave you a lot more in the first one, especially. You really couldn't afford anything. But this, in the first game, the first game you play, you can afford most things. Bug in. So yeah, uh, I didn't mention the boards. There's a Pirate Land, one we just played. Western Land, the second one difficulty one. Space Land, in space. Mystery Land, Mysterious Mysteries, the Strange Mysteries. It was actually the first episode of Mysterious Mysteries, Strange Mysteries, which is cool. I'm kidding. Horror Land, which, uh, not have Luigi, or oh, we'll have Luigi, probably. But it's not Luigi's mansion, but there will be something else in that mansion. Oh! And Bowser Land, it's Bowser! But Bowser has honestly an awesome board. Yeah, and this is not a board, this is rules. There's many games, and there's the options. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time for Western Land, but if anyone feels like voting, feel free, which no one will. Well, by the way, Happy with Fixed D, don't vote for the board that you, you're going to be in, because I'm just going to put you in the fifth board like I was last time. So don't just vote, hey, I vote the one I'm going to put in. So you get to play earlier. You know which one I'm talking about. See, next time we'll be doing Westerland. Hopefully <laughs> I get as lucky as I do this time. That's ridiculous. So next time we'll become deputies in a tiny town of the Old West. Later. <laughs>